This is Anderson Penn's podcast, episode 396 for Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. This is Brian. And this is Lisa. So the other day, mm-hmm. I'm chatting with a German friend of mine, German pen collector, okay. uh, who also is somewhat of a mathematician. So, you know, though sometimes those, those fields do um, intersect. And uh, I asked him, I said, yeah. I said hey, uh, Franz, I say, uh, Franz, do you know what the square root of 81 is? He says, no. I mean, that was the joke? <laughs> that was the joke. Um, so last week we were talking, we've talked about the, um, the cat and dog rescue uh, episode, version four. Damn adorable. Uh, and we, we just, the first batch came in and went, and then we had the sleeves, but now we, I, I've actually got the pen so we can take them out. And uh, we actually haven't taken these out yet, so. How come I get the dog? Well, here, take the cat. <laughs> Bow wow. Um, they're cute. They're just so adorable. Actually, you know, this this is cuter in person than I thought it was going to be. Um, you know, I really respect that they do this and that they contribute to um, charitable organizations and rescue organizations um, and and. Uh, you know, they've done yeah. the, the bamboo yeah. with the turtles and the all the other ones, the pandas. Um, these are really cute. And I love there's a little cone of shame, cone of shame on the yep, dog. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's great. So these are... Yeah, I'll trade you. No. What? <laughs> Be that way. Now, uh, keep in mind, there is a matching uh, a matching sleeve for these guys. From Rickshaw. From Rickshaw. Um, and it's got a, a, this orange one. The dog has a matching orange color in it. You can just... Slider in there. That's kind of nice. Wouldn't you put it in the other way? I think you put it in this way. Yeah. Because then Oops. there's instructions. There's actually instructions with these. <laughs> you put it in this way. Well, apparently so I that didn't. you can push it out easier. Oh, that's cool. All so right. it doesn't doesn't get fibers in the opening. Right. So that's a good All right, idea. Anyway, dog and cat rescue moving right along. These are cute. These are really cute. Like uh, three new metal smiths. Um, actually, there are four. four. Um, and we've got uh, one of them on the way, the raw brass, uh, which looks really great. You know, when I saw these, when we received the notice, the fir- what's the first thing that you thought when you saw this? Brutus? Yes. Uh, it's a Varpa Paul. Yes. Yeah. In Chicago, next to us, is a barber shop. Oh, yes. And so the first oh, yes. thing I thought was a Brady, our neighbor in Chicago. So this is really just your classic barber pole, just very cool. We should send one to him. We should, uh, Brady's a great guy. Yeah, yeah, great, great friend. Um, so so that's, that's really cool. What does it got on the top? You just, you just skipped over the I just skipped the right over it. It's on. got a comb and a mustache, and or a scissors. Scissors, comb yeah. and scissors. Sorry. Uh, really cute, just really creative. I never would have thought of that. It's cute. Um, and I'm then- just, I'm gonna go to my favorite here. Okay. So the Frederick Douglass, the Douglass. Yes. Um, and of course, matching tube. Yes. I this. like that they do matching tubes. I love any wow. of the acid etched and the metal. This I, is, can I just, oh, wow. Look at this pattern on that's here. That's very cool. And there's a little portrait of Frederick Douglass yep. on the top. That's very great. Cool. I love, it's got just enough texture, so it's not slippery. Yeah. But it's not, you know, deeply etched. It's not going to leave a... a you know, ridge in your hand. Yeah, and it's got that kind of copper, coppery trim yep. on it. Yeah, boy, this, this cool. one's great. Sharp looking. I like this. This a lot. Really, really good, good design. And then we've got the Bennington, uh, which has the uh, flag that was used during the American Revolution. Is that great. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was have you ever that day been to class. Bennington, Vermont? I have not been to Bennington, Vermont. We should go visit my mom, and we can make a day trip to Bennington. Very cool. So if now now Retro has made a number of these flag themed pens in the past, which like means Betsy if you have and, several of the others, yeah. you're going to have to get this yeah. one. And that's great. It's more of like an ivory, like an ivory color to it, tinge they, to it. So it's vintage look. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It looks great. So um, you know they do that on purpose. They they just get you hooked, and then. Yeah, you've got two of the flags, you've got to get all of them. You've got two of the classic lacquers, you've got to get all of them. You've got a bunch of the metal smiths, you have to get them all. The dog and cat rescue, they're yeah. genius yeah, about they're, that. they're great. I, I haven't ever actually saved any of the cat rescues, but this one being blue is pretty I thought cute. we did. 
Uh, I've, I've never t taken a cat rescue oh. pet. So. Uh, anyway, your, your birthday's coming. I, up. It is coming up. Uh, <laughs> but I thought we took care of that. Uh, anyway, uh, new Retro 51s Very uh, cool. available now. Field Notes does it again. Their 50th limited edition. 50. Can 50. You, that's crazy. So, in the, well, it's quarterly, right? So, yes. it's, you know, it's not 50 years or anything. But, so this is this is red Still and it's got, a, it's got a little window on it. Um, which reveals the uh, flyleaf. And they have um, gone back to um, using uh, three colors that they used in very, very early uh, editions. And so it's just a little bit yeah. of the vintage with the modern. So there's an orange, a blue, and, and a green. green. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I think you get one of each in the pack. The front one is different. Yeah. One but of your favorites? This is a great pen. And now we talked last week a little bit about Schaefer 100. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the stainless ballpoint. Brush stainless, okay. really a cool pen. Um, I like this a lot, and it's got a nice weight to it. It's really nice to see you talking about ballpoints. <laughs> Be quiet, you. I'm just saying. Um, no, but I, I like it. Uh, this time of year, it's, we're getting close to graduation, Father's Day. Um, this is a really solid pen. Um, it looks great, too. It it's nice great. in the hand. Mm -hmm. It's got some weight to it, um, which I personally, I prefer a slightly heavier mm -hmm. pen. Um, yeah, just what do you think really, of the girth? The girth is pretty. It's good. It's it's not too big, uh, but it's definitely not super skinny, so you don't feel that need to grip really hard. Uh, just a really solid, dependable, no nonsense pen. So, um, and um, now we do not do engraving in our store, but these do engrave really yes, well. We've yeah, got a couple a... places we recommend. Um, and they just do a really great job. Top top contender on that one. Mm -hmm. Sailor Ink Studio, uh, Steph's uh, Ink Pick of the Week. I didn't know we were picking Ink of the uh, Week. She did this week. Okay. Uh, 173. <laughs> so it's uh, It's a really pretty orange, like a peachy color. An orange that shades to pink? Yeah, on our swap card. It's really cool. So it does cool. have a, like a pink sheen to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, Very cool. But it's light enough that you can you can still see it. You can it. still see it. So, yeah. So, it comes in your standard Ink Studio. And, and just as a reminder. Oh, I love the little labels inside. Yeah, it comes with labels. So, check this out. So, there's a label there. And you can put that around your converter to remind you what ink you put yes. in that pen. You know, we saw those. We saw that labeling system for the first time when uh, President Hisa of Sailor came to see us in, sh in yep. uh, Chicago yep. and we were sitting at the bar um, and all of us were swapping our pens and somehow, I don't know why we, maybe he showed us or I don't know how we took apart President Hisa's pen. Uh, he handed me one of his, he, he opened up his pen case and I r rudely took a pen out of his case and Took it apart? It. Yes. <laughs> That was rude. <laughs> anyway, he had these little tiny labels on his converters, and that's when they explained that they do this, which we thought was just genius. And then fast forward yep. a couple years, and now, um, they're in, now they're in. They're all, all your ink studios. Yes. Um, so anyway, that's, a, that's Steph's pick of the week, 173 Ink Studio. Do I get to pick uh, a color of the week? You can, absolutely. Um, and these are available in uh, the 20 mil bottles as well as the samples. <clears throat> samples, yeah. Let's talk about two new things that are on the website. Yes. Um, I don't actually have them here. We will, we will actually be seeing them later today. I we'll know. talk about that so next. I'm excited. ST DuPont. Yes. Uh, D initial, there's two new colors in the D initial. Yes, scarlet red, which is a deep, bright red. It's a really bright red. Um, yeah. And then electric blue, which is definitely brighter than the shark blue that was oh, yeah. out earlier. And the shark blue um, has a matte finish, and the electric blue yeah, and the are, scarlet are glossy. So these are glossy. Super yeah. excited about that. So fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint. Fountain pen comes in a steel, medium, medium. nib. Um, there are no other nib options. Right. Um, but uh, but that ballpoint is great. Yes. Uh, I love the ballpoint on the D initial. I think it's one of the best. I think it's one of the best values on the market. I love you talking value. about ballpoints. I, I just love it. And, and the design <laughs> is great. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful it's, pen. It's a good weight. It's a good size. It's a good girth. Um, yeah, it just writes really yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, the clip is terrific. I mean... Yeah, yeah. Just... Du du DuPont's really got the ballpoint market, I think, nailed. Yes. I mean, all their ballpoints. I love them. They're just... 
Did you get the defeat? Uh, I did not get a defeat. I, I ordered an extra one for me, and it's at the store, and I just haven't actually oh. taken it. But well, you know your birthday's coming. <laughs> you keep saying that. Father's you, 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 you keep up. saying that. You will be sorry, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> So, uh, uh, new uh, D initial, we will be getting some of those in. Yes. Uh, and then there's also the, the new line D. Yes, the Firehead Guilloche. Um Three colors? Yes. Amethyst is just a gorgeous, kind of a plummy purple. Um, the amber. That's a nice color. Yeah, Amber's which nice. is. It's my favorite of the three, I think. Which is kind of a brownish red. Um, I don't, cons it's. It's got some depth to it. I mean, they all do with, well, the, with the with the lacquer on, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and then emerald, really, really, yep. really pretty green. So three um, new to go with the existing three. Yes. So there's or existing, yeah, three colors. So yes. six, six total in the the Geo series now. And these are the line D large. Line D large. That's okay. correct. So fountain pen, roller, and ballpoint as well. Um, today, John Lane from Coles of London. Uh, Visconti and DuPont event today, uh, noon to about five o'clock. Yes. About noon to about five. So, John's yes, depending on what time he uh, gets into the store, but it should yep. be around noon um, and uh, go till about five. Uh, the store closes at five thirty, and um, we have reservations at six. Yes. So French onion soup. <laughs> John and Brian. <laughs> We, we love have to thing. go to Lombardi's, we have a thing. Um, Lombardi's restaurant here in town, and um, John's been here several times, and he and Brian have this thing about French onion soup, and Lombardi's makes a killer... It's the most unique presentation yes. on the planet. You guys have both said it's not the world's best yes, French onion soup, the best but French the presentation onion soup. is just amazing. It's like plus 10 points. You yes. know, a big... Uh, almost a waste. I, I, I hate, hate to say, but it, it, it comes to you in a big, giant, giant onion, onion that they scoop been hollowed out, out and then they put the soup in there. Put some soup. Put the cheese on yeah, top. John yeah. texted me a picture of it the other yeah, day. He's right. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but anyway, let's get back to the event. <laughs> you're, you're ready for dinner. I haven't had breakfast uh, yet. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Visconti and Dupont. And John will have uh, a good selection of things. I actually, I don't even know what he was going to have. Yes. I've asked him about a couple things, um, but uh, he will have some Dupont lighters. So Ooh. if any of you are into uh, uh, smoking cigars or whatever lighters, uh, he will have some of those. We have a couple in the store now, but he'll have some other ones. Um, you know, they're not just for lighters. We have one that I use oh, for. Oh yeah, we the have the one yeah. that is just really Bring impressive. That in. Um, just really, really nice. I keep a couple candles that I light in my office and downstairs, and uh, it's it's just a long, thin, uh, about an inch wide. Really, really gorgeous. But I love it's great. It. It's really nice for lighting <laughs> candles or deep down or something like yep. that. Yeah. So, uh, so anyway, um, have any questions? Uh, you want to show off your Viscontis or your Duponts? Uh, bring them down to the store, Appleton. Uh, noon to five today, Wednesday, May twenty sixth. Yes. So uh, John will be here just one day only. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. We haven't seen him in two years, year yes. and a half. Uh, so. Now, is there anything um, from either Visconti or Dupont that you are looking to see or hold or keep? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. That's the, the honest to goodness answer. There's a really great mid-size uh, line D that we have in the case that has that black sparkle finish, and then oh, uh, yeah. and then that carved. Uh, I forget the I forget the actual model of it. I don't know that it's it's still made anymore. But uh, we have uh, that fountain pen, which is the same size as yours, uh, that I do like. I think it's really, really cool. a great looking pen. It'll be fun uh, to see what John brings. He always brings interesting things. And um, I think it's just a great way for all you local people to come in and, and see um, some of these extra things. They always bring some mm -hmm. high-end things, so I love to see the, the craftsmanship that goes into some of this. So yep. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. So there you have it. Uh, anything else you want to? Nope. Nope. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Uh, tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, uh, updates on store hours and events in the stores. Uh, check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time. There you go.